Wana writer says she felt says Wana, she, Wana. Wana, Wana, Wana Wana says she feels no grief when her father passed. Hmm. And wow. um, I remember she wrote something on Twitter about um, my father doing something when she was really a kid, when she was a kid and all of that. She said when he it was passed, very abusive. yeah, very abusive, and said that she literally had cut him off in her mind. She yes. Felt nothing. So she said she felt no. She said my father died last week, and for some reason I feel absolutely nothing. No sadness, no loss, no grief. What I felt to do is relief and closure. I realized that I already grieved his 27 years absence from our, li from our lives. You see, oh, wow, so, wow. so let me tie these two stories with, with one and one. Let me tie the last story and this one, one and one. Now, they're setting parents who don't understand. They love their kids, but they don't understand. How to express it? Parents. Not even how to express it, but that, yes. Parenting. 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 Parent, I call it parental love. There's a difference between loving your child as a human, I give birth to this child, mm. and then loving your child as, as a, a parent. parent. That means you're providing everything a parent is supposed to provide for that child. Mm -hmm. Now, in Wana Wana's case, because I follow her, uh, she had a radio career, one of the radio yes. stations, mm -hmm. and she was quite huge. And she said, this dad wasn't there at all. Now, there are parents who are there, you are seeing your father and mother so physically, but it's like they're not no there support. because they're not giving any support. I know of a story, as I'm speaking to you, somebody whose father is there, wealthy, I told you, very wealthy, but isn't there at all to help. At the end of the day, for someone to even come and say, you feel no pain. I mean, no, that, no that pain. Is, that no is hurt. Degree, close your, is the degree you now, close your now, heart. Now, for someone on the outside, outside, you look and say, aha, your father, but How? trust me, People hurt differently. Mm. People, people bear pain differently. And she has bared this for, she said, 27, 27 years. years. So that's enough time to, that's enough time for anyone to die in your heart, really. Hmm. You just die and then die that and person doesn't person. exist. So even mm -hmm. when you hear that this person is gone, you're like, oh, it's just the person died already. Dead, I know, just so. hope at the end of the day, with the kind of, it's a toxic situation that you're able to get closure. Hopefully she's gotten closure. That's what she said, that she's, all she's got is relief and closure. Because when it comes to the loss of a father, mm -hmm. you're very close to your father, uh, Omo. You never recover from the pain. True. You never, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You can't even do it because you're used to having a functional person there. But for her to say this, then it means that I uh, just hope it's, that it's really very really, sad. Really, really sad. And a lot of people also going through this. So if you're dealing with this at this moment, hoping that you'll be able to get through that. Some people get closure with the parents in their lifetime. Some people never get to. By the end of the day, the bottom line is forgiveness. No matter how difficult and how hard she, it she, is. She, I mean, and, you, see, and, you see, this is a very touchy thing. Mm, it's very I don't touchy. think in her heart... She hasn't forgiven her dad. I'm sure she has. But you see, the pain that reconnection of, was a, just of an can abusive never happen person is, is so deep that even when you forgive, it's hard the to get that emotion stays. back. You know, that True. emotion that was never there. And then the truth is, as a father, when you disconnect your when you disconnect yourself from your child at a very tender age, it's very that's why they say parents don't always stay away from your children. It's only the formative, for so years. The formative years. It's very hard to get that back. Because when they now become adults. It's not there. You're wondering, I was not around, I gave birth to you, but you're forgetting that you left them for so long. Now they don't even understand setting traits. Mm, they can't you know, parents, the man. Especially with fathers. A lot of them used to feel like, I'm going out there to work so I can bring something back that we could use to take care of you as a child. So to therefore, that creating that then. aspect of absence, being absent from that child's life. It, it has to do with either the mom or whoever is back there letting this child know that, listen, your father loves you, but he's just unavailable because he has to work extra hard just so you can be all right. Mm. There is that faith. But well, let's move on because I, I, 50, feel like, 50. I don't know if it is a conversation that needs to be had separately. Mm. Men, the, the man or the woman making up for the absence of the father because this is one thing that usually happens a lot. Mm -hmm. Father is always busy. And then when something bad happens, you blame the mother and say, yeah, you, uh, your mother is you not were, you were there. You should have when been the there. When the father is supposed to be there, at the same time, if you, if you know what I'm saying. I get you. But, let, let's, but let's, the man has to bring money now. You see, that's the thing. Money that's has to thing. be made. Yeah, things yeah. have to be. <laughs> he has to bring money. He has to be he unavailable to bring at money, some point. But the woman yeah. is one that has to be the one to take care of the child. What that's does the man do when he's taking care of the child? It, it, it should be see, a, a manly, mutual thing. A manly presence in a child life. It's needed. It's needed. You cannot. Because setting kids, when you don't have that presence of a man, they start to act very... Um, they become trans. They become very disobedient, not even obeying their mom. So mm. it is that fear that the father, who is the man, instills, instills and in says, them. okay, right, sit down, don't talk to your mom like that. That's Go and apologize to your mom. Stuff like that, that's what a man brings to the home. And when that is lacking, not every mom can be an iron mom. Not every mom. Uh -huh. Especially when it comes to boys <laughs> relating uh, with their mothers, exactly. they need their fathers too. 
that's very mm -hmm. important. Yeah. Okay, so our last trendy story, Rihanna's Fenty fragrance sells out less than 24 hours after launch. So apparently, yes. Rihanna put out a teaser talking about, a um, few celebrities talking about how Rihanna smells because of, is, is, everybody knows on the streets mm -hmm. that Rihanna smells heavily. Like, she smells so good. That means her perfume is, No, the perfume she uses is, is great. Now, off the billionaire status and all of that, she put out a teaser with these celebrities and now she sold out that perfume. Less, in than, less than 24 hours. hours. Go. Rihanna is not doing music anymore. No. <laughs> no, She's listen, making. When you, I, I tell people all this because so, sometimes on radio they ask me why is it that when certain celebrities uh, become so wealthy, the music, the substance reduces. I'm like, look, sometimes the, with the motivation mm -hmm. was hunger at the time. Now you defeated <laughs> hunger. The motivation to get to another thing now would not be hunger anymore. It would be something. It's something else. For Rihanna, mm -hmm. the motivation for music was to probably get into fashion or getting to the lifestyle branding or getting to you know making of perfumes and now she's doing it she's doing it in a big way ah. I, I remember when somebody hit her an accent on twitter when i went back into music she was like that's not your business i can decide not to do music anymore and to be because honest she's, she's there in a comfortable now, space she's, forbes the other day said she's now a billionaire, billionaire. She's yeah, now a billionaire. Yeah, in now liquid cash not in terms of the combination of cash yes. and assets no in liquid uh, cash straight to the bank She's a billionaire. Now, wow. line is really doing a lot of amazing work from cosmetics. I'd love to, to have it to see how it, you know. My own, yeah, my yeah, own issue is that she has. Wear, my own my issue is I understand a lot of see Beyonce even with her. Uh, Ivy Park and mm -hmm. everything. Beyonce is still going to do music. So what music. is your problem with I just want Rihanna to do music. Ah, she's not seeing music. She's saying she'll do it when she wants. I just, I'm just yeah. like, Rihanna, we need music from Rihanna. With I understand Rihanna. she has made money. Hey. I love, and look at where we speak with Jemike when I asked her. Is it still going back? I'm sure Jemike has made so much money from real estate and other things he's been into and stuff like that. Yeah. So, okay, let other artists explore, explore. this. Artist now, that is what, that is what, for me, oh, that is, what you just said now is what I should be expecting people like Rihanna and those who do. are wealthy, like the G-Mikes, to do is to empower those being, you know, coming behind, coming them, behind them, those talented ones who might not have the opportunity. For example, mm. you have very talented young artists mm -hmm. in America, female artists in America. Oh, Rihanna can say, okay, you know what, I'm going to pick you and pick you and, and open um, up a label and mm, just push and find push you up there. Yes. People you know. can you wear stuff. That's her album. Yeah. He put her album. I'm just saying why Rihanna should not say we cannot get this, an album okay. or a single. Even Kanye West. Talking he, about it. Uh, hey, don't, right now. So she's what not, are you saying? She's not motivated, really. We need to push her See, to be I think, motivated. We need you know, her, I, we need, I think it has to do with what you're chasing at a time. For now, motivated. she feels like she wants to push this yeah, brand to a exactly. certain extent. Music is not her problem. She can wake up in her sleep and just decide to go I'm into the studio and give us a banger yeah, and we'll follow it to the end. Mm. But I feel like at this point, she wants to be able to chase this business to a point where she says, this is stabilized enough for me. I can go into the studio now and give people something. So just she wants for, to do it in her leisure like time for yeah, fun. I guess, I guess you know? she, and she will sell out even with the music. Well, I think we will she... run for it. <laughs> we will chase it. I, I love how we are now just able to evolve from that girl from Betos to mm -hmm. a multi it's a multi billionaire. Billionaire. You know, so that's great news, honestly. And I think we're done with trending. Yep. We had great, great trending stories. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just going to hit it to the next stage of the show. Uh, we have an artist who will be coming on board we'll be talking about his music. And I think this is really important. We are just, everybody wants to blow, blow, blow. Let's see for how we can make money and diversify and really build conglomerates. Mm. True. Yeah. Let's build conglomerates. Yeah. Tolu, let's have a business discussion after this. <laughs> Bobby. Diversify. To make no, money. Is. Business discussion. Just make me the <laughs> but before accountant we, in before the we business. Go, That's before, all we, I want. before we go to the break and all of that, just feel like we should just talk more about artists. Because a lot of artists come on the show. On the shows. And literally, they all just want to do music. It's like they can't see beyond music. All they see is, hey, I must blow. I must blow. Okay. I must blow. I must blow. Because I look at drawing the prototypes from Rihanna. Not even Rihanna. Let's even look at. Big. Let's look at Kanye West. Let's look at um, Jay Z. Let's look at even Beyonce. Far. These guys have realized that you can't do music alone. You, if you do so, music so, alone. So here's the thing. You're you're saying two different things. I'm not saying two different. Yes, things. you are. Let me let me let you, me. We're, we're talking you. about upcoming. You're talking about upcoming um, okay. artists. Okay, that's established artists. So where you go? Where you go? Kanye, artists. Rihanna. Right? Yeah. You're going too far. Okay, so let's look at so upcoming. There's, there's, there's the there's the so there's an A list and there's a B list. Mm -hmm. so C list and there's a D list. Yes, but let's for the sake of conversation, let's just clarify them A and B. So A is the is the very popular ones who've made money and we all know. the upcoming. Now for A, they've made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They're stable. But you still cannot push a man to invest in a business if he's not ready to invest in it. It's mm. like it's like when people told uh, Pastor Adeboy, uh, uh, the Covenant University man, to mm -hmm. open up factories. So, You're not yeah. in his account, so you can't force a man or you can't teach a man to 
set up how business. to run his money. However, yeah. you can advise a man on how to manage that wealth. Mm. And, and managing make more the wealth, wealth out of it. Yes, managing the wealth comes from different arrays of investment, bonds, whatever here, investments here, mm -hmm. capital, whatever. B list artists who are down there who will want to experience this stardom and financing, what they need to do is understand that they have to put in that great A level of hard work. Mm, too. And the only thing I, I would want to appeal to upcoming artists or B list artists is your A and R should be perfect. That means the people who vet your music before they come out to be people who are musically inclined, who are not just, they're not just yes, you, you, they're not just yes men that will say, oh, you know what, this is the music. But my general, question general, is, general. if you can't has to be, afford those type of people in your team, yes, because it's not everyone that can afford now, top of the crop. Let me just say something there. And when you say if you can't afford those kind of people in your team, mm. so a lot of these guys take it to their friends and their close people to say, what do you think about this song? And my problem is the people around you more often than not just tell you the wrong thing. Not, not, not And they entirely. tell you, I think it's good. Not, not, At least I've heard people forward songs to mm -hmm. me and say, ah, check this out, we're hoping we could put this on your radio. And I'm like, your song has to be good for us to put it on our radio. We're not going to charge you for it, but it has to be good. So, it has to be worth listening to. So here's the thing. Um, while I would agree with you and say, yes, sometimes they need to have correct people behind them. But yes. at the end of the day, like Tolu said, they can't afford mm. the Don Jazzies or the oh, very big air now people. I'm saying the people all, around them have, should tell them the truth. You can have, so it depends on the, the artist now should be able to say, who is mm. a functional person? Who, how can I create a functional team? Yeah. That word functional, a team that, Pull like I said, has people. got a diverse, you know, listening, listening ear for ear, music. For good music believes in the talent because mm. it's only a man that believes in something that, would that will tell you oh god this thing you're doing is not the way they invest time money and of course okay. resources so it's encompassing but the bottom line is for me or in my experience of about 10 years doing radio is you need to have great team because the number of songs i get on a daily basis sometimes mm. i ask myself these people actually you need to do a master to class you need to take a break we need no, to do a master class master class is coming yeah. <laughs> master class. from your perspective as a radio presenter yeah absolutely you know, and I was like, it's inspiring that would everybody be a great needs, thing though everybody needs yeah, a absolutely. team team mm. that's the way i need my team too mm. so we'll take a break out need team to push you away <laughs> musically <laughs> to the right. lecture in career <laughs> What are you saying? That's definitely part of Tolu, what I'm going to be Have you doing. heard Tolu sing? Huh? No, Tolu's a... Uh, oh, my God. I'm going to be a maid billionaire. I'm going to be lecturing. Everything is going to be part of it. We'll take a break, guys. Move on to the next stage of the show. Uh, our artists will be joining right soon. Let's take a break. We'll be right back.